Hey y'all, Dustin here. So we're gonna give you, I got carbs in one hand and fat in the other hand. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but they don't mix really well. <laughs> so if your goal is to ultimately stay lean, I and mean, this is more about on the fat loss side of things, if you wanna stay lean, be careful not to combine these too often and too much. Um, this can be a recipe for gaining extra body fat. So Southern California, I don't know if you guys are aware of the, of the craze of putting fat in your coffee, right? Fat coffee, there's a lot of different names for it, um, which I think a huge benefit. I'm actually a huge fan of that. At the same time, I watched here in Southern California, many, many people gain a lot of weight doing this. So like I'm doing it because it gives me health benefits of the brain. It helps with my, my fast in the morning but yet I'm still gaining a bunch of weight. Why is that they're eating carbs the rest of the day? They're combining the two, they're having their fat coffee and then for lunch they're having some carb-based lunch. Well, that doesn't mix very well. The concept behind having fat coffee is very, very good for the cognition in the brain, but at the same time, you're gonna wanna be really careful that if you consume a lot of fat and consume carbs with it, they basically, you're gonna be more likely to store body fat um, because of what's gonna happen with your blood sugar stimulating. So not, and your insulin response, not a great combo, com combination together. What's really good is if you eat, use fat in your coffee in the morning and stay more low carb through the day. And if you're gonna have carbs, have them as far away from your fat as you can. Um, or if you're gonna have a day off or you're gonna have you know pie and a bunch of fun stuff, on those days, eat a lower fat diet and it'll help protect you from gaining this excessive body fat. Now, with that said and done, a lot of people don't realize when they're putting fat in their coffee, they may be consuming two, three, four, five hundred 500 calories in their coffee. And if your caloric intake for the day is 1500, ladies, and a third of it's in your coffee, how much does that leave you left for the rest of the day? And you have less wiggle room. So just be aware of the amount also that you're consuming. So I'm not against it. What I do usually recommend is if you're gonna do fat coffee in the morning and you're not following a very, very specific ketogenic diet, which let's be honest, most of you are not. You may think you are, but you're not. It's a consistent diet that is really restricted, which I think is amazing, but it's really hard to follow, is that you can use fat in your coffee, meaning heavy cream, butter, if you're dairy, okay. Uh, MCT 143, which is the most remarkable product. Keto cream are one of our, 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 our awesome products. But let's keep the caloric intake on the low side. If body composition matters to you, if fat loss matters to you, let's not increase it up to four, five, six, seven hundred calories. It'll sustain your fast anyway at two or 300 calories. No problem. Most of you bigger dudes that work out a lot probably can get away with the three, four, 500 calories. Ladies, 100 to 200 calories. That's gonna sustain, sustain you anyway so you can keep that fasting intake and then you're not gonna be more prone to, to gaining extra body fat if you do consume some, uh, some, some carbohydrates. I just got a text, ladies. I can, can I have my, my fat coffee in the morning, which she, she's having a good amount, and then she goes, can I have my oatmeal? Can I have my sweet potatoes? Can I have my brown rice? And I'm like, your goal is fat loss. And, but she doesn't know. She doesn't know that information. She just thinks she's doing what is healthy nowadays, which is adding fat to your coffee, stimulating brain function, adding medium chain fatty acids, grass fed butter. This is some grass fed butter, carry gold butter. So is that she thinks she's doing all the right things, but she's actually setting herself up to not lose body fat very well. And she's setting herself up to potentially gain, which is gonna tell her that something's wrong with her and then cause this big cycle of stress hormones. So, short answer, love fat in my coffee, love fat in the morning, I love medium chain fatty acids, but don't combine it with your carbs. Keep them separate, as far apart from each other as you can, and just be aware if you're following a high fat diet, then a low carb diet is gonna have to follow with that. Typically, it kinda happens naturally, but I know people's temptations, well, I'm doing really, really well, I'm gonna have a little bit. Well, those little bits can add up a lot. So, just be aware, and then the amount of fat, it's not a, a high fat diet doesn't require you have to eat a lot of fat. Fat has a lot more calories in it, so therefore, per gram, so therefore you are you don't have to shift it that much to make it high high fat diet, right? So it's just a little adjustment, it's just dark meat versus white meat. It's a little bit of butter on your vegetables. It's a little bit of butter or a little bit of MCT oil 143 in your coffee. It's not a lot, it's just a little, and that adds up over time to be a very big positive. So y'all, just be aware, carbs and fat don't mix very well. Cheers. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Just subscribe below if you want all the updates when we upload the newest videos on keto health, wellness, vitality. Check it out, come join us.